Good evening. I'm going to call this meeting of the Town Hall Planning Commission together at uh, a little after 7 p.m. on Tuesday, September 9. Um, for the first time, we are uh, going to be on cable access TV. And so uh, after we uh, open the meeting, I'm going to ask that each one of us introduce ourselves by name and uh, where we live in town, and then we will get on with the meeting of the day. So my name is Sid Smithers. I am chairman of the Planning Commission. I live in North Pownall. Julie Weber, secretary, and I live in North Pownall. In Winchester, Skyboro Road, Pownall. Rick Morgenthal, Brooklyn Road, Pownall. And our uh, zoning administrator, Nelson Brownell. Thank you, Nelson. First order of business is to consider the adoption of the agenda for the special meeting that we're having tonight. Uh, the agenda is in your, <coughs> excuse me, in your folder. May I have a motion to adopt the agenda? I move to second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Any opposed? Thank you. <coughs> Okay, the agenda for tonight's meeting uh, is to discuss the town plan and uh, the steps that uh, are incident to preparing the town plan and using the consultant we are retaining to assist us in that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and Nelson has uh, very helpfully agreed to be the contact person uh, with the state and has entered uh, the necessary information into the state website so that we can uh, participate in the town planning process and submit our application for the grant, a municipal planning grant that we are going to seek uh, electronically. Uh, the consultant has been listed as an additional contributor to that website, uh, as has Linda Sharapa, who is going to assist Nelson in it. And uh, Nelson has uh, moved the process along rather materially, and our job tonight is to do two things. The first is to prepare a brief uh, summary of the steps that we took in considering various uh, possible consultants, uh, what we did to go through the process of retaining the consultant and choosing the one we ultimately chose. And secondly, we are to prepare uh, a statement for inclusion in the town plan as to why Pownall needs an update of its municipal plan. Um, and I think uh, I will start the first part by reciting uh, the names and my memory, at least, uh, supplemented somewhat by um, records that I went through this afternoon before hastily making photocopies. Uh, of the process that we engaged in in uh, seeking out a consultant for the town plan. Um, we were given a series of names by uh, Bennington County Regional Commission. Uh, we reached out to those people, and I'm going to name them. Uh, I conducted telephone interviews with a number of them, and we invited a couple of them to come here for interviews, we interviewed those people, and at the end of the day we made a choice. The consultants with whom we spoke included uh, a consultant named Brandy Saxton, whose company is Place, Place Sense uh, in Port Henry, New York, a Peg Elmer, uh, Mark Kane with SE Group in Burlington, Vermont, the um, Regional Planning Commission itself. We interviewed Mike Batcher uh, from the Regional Planning Commission. And we also agreed to interview and follow up on a number of uh, references given by Landworks. Uh, yes, Landworks of Vermont, uh, David Raphael and others. Um, you reached out to a number of the references for um, Landworks, I know you spoke with or emailed uh, a Dick Horner at Killington. That's correct. Some yeah. of the references uh, for a couple of the different firms. 
and um, I got some pointed answers, and, and then we went forward mm -hmm. based upon... You, you shared them with us, and yes. we eventually uh, interviewed Mark Kane from SE Group. We interviewed Mike Batcher from the Regional uh, Planning Commission, and we interviewed David Raphael from Landworks, and at the end of the day, we took a uh, vote here at a meeting, and the uh, choice, I found my little handwritten notes of the vote that we took, and the choice was unanimous among the Planning Commission members who were here that we were going to hire Landworks, uh, or, or recommend to the Board of Selectmen that the Board of Selectmen would hire Landworks, which we did. And uh, the Board of Selectmen at last Thursday's meeting signed the necessary resolution in support of ap applying for the grant. Is that correct, uh, Nelson? Signed the resolution that's required yes. to go with that. Okay. Um, so that is the process, and we are going to have to submit that, Julie. So what I just went through in terms of the people we called, the interviews, the uh, references that we spoke with, and I'm going to give you one more name of a reference that we spoke with. Uh, Dick Horner from Killington and Mel right. Hawley from Virgins. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got email responses from both of them. Yes, uh, so we will write that up as part of the minutes of this meeting and then excerpt it to give to uh, Nelson. Now, Nelson, in what shape do you want this uh, to be presented to you for inclusion as part of the grant application? The grant application allows attachments. So if it was a memo from the planning board in, wor out, in a Word document? In a Word document, I'll attach that just as it is okay. so it becomes part of that application. Okay. I think that's the best because you guys can work on it, decide how you want the wording, and when you're finished with it, we'll attach it to okay. it. Okay. Right. Well, that that's a lot easier than I thought. I thought it was going to have to be typed into a into a form well, on that, the computer. You, you could, they limit how many letters per... I saw, I saw that. So if you did that, you'd be very limited. Yeah, you'd Here, I would try to letters. keep. I would still try to keep it to one page. One of the things with these grants, as you know, I've been through them before, is they really don't want a lot to read. What they want you to do is to be to the point, explain what the, it is your goals are, and state what the benefit of having a new town plan will do. And if you can keep that to one page, that's a big plus because they have... Lots of people that apply for these grants, and the better word and shortness will help you get through it quicker. Mm -hmm. Okay, the second charge for tonight's meeting is probably going to take a little bit longer, although the reason why I went through what we've done before and the goals that we all developed for the master plan and what we hoped for Pownall and so on, and I've made copies of all of that and distributed it to you, um, is that we have to come up with a concise statement as to why the Planning Commission thinks that uh, redoing the town plan is in the vital interests of the town of Pownall, uh, and the grants makers are going to rely on uh, that, our statement of why we think it's in the vital interests of the town mm -hmm. to do this um, as part of their analysis as to whether or not we get a grant. So, if I can remind you, if I may remind you, um, we each came up with five or more reasons why, uh, visions that we had for the town, and I think some of them may go toward constituting a concise statement as to why the town needs an updated master plan. Um, it, al it also seems that um, Nelson put it on... Uh, uh, a few ideas on his grant application as well. Though he's not on the Planning Commission, he's um, definitely made cogent remarks as to and ideas as to why things need to be updated. And where did you find them? Um, because I'm happy to see him, but <laughs> I'm not sure I've seen them. If they're in the part of the application process, uh, and basically what they were were things that I'd heard across the table from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically what I did is I put them on here again in, in very short verses. Okay, this is what you sent out on two, uh, a couple yes. of days ago. Yes. Okay. Correct. I'm sorry. I, yeah. did, I did see that. Right. Yes. 
And again, rem uh, I'll make a, remember that this is an application for a grant. This is not the town plan. You will be working on the town plan and writing the town plan with public input and other things. So you're not trying to write a town plan when you put this in. What you're trying to do is write what you feel are the changes from what the town plan is today to what needs to be added or changed. Or we're trying to write up what the goals of the community are that could be advanced by having an updated town plan. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I know one that you talk, talked of frequently was this whole idea of being the gateway to the state of Vermont and how we ought to own the gateway and we ought to... Well, and, and, and that to me, I think that's really important. It's a marketing point to, you know, create some type of commerce, to create some buzz in this town. It might not be as relevant as, you know, certain building regs and, and in dealing with the floodplain uh, uh, situation that has changed. Um, but I think creating the gateway and, and giving it a buzz, one thing will stack upon another and it could lead to some good things. So marketing in that way I think is important. I don't know that it's number one, but I think it's important. Okay, I, um, I think one of the things that a town plan could develop, and one of the reasons why we ought to have it, is because it would enunciate more clearly what benefits will accrue to the town by being visible. The gateway. Yes. The access point. Okay. Right. Um, I know that uh, we have talked about uh, revitalization of town centers and how uh, we hope that that may be an outcome of a change in zoning that will result from a town plan which looks forward to reinvigorating town centers mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to development of vacant land far outside of town centers uh, which disperses development as opposed to bringing it together. So I think that could be something uh, I think that is a really good point because right now it seems like we have two or three town, quote, town centers or potential town centers and that really stratifies the whole thing and spreads it out as you say. So we need to concentrate our efforts and have one and have it properly located where commerce would want to come and, and so forth that is also visible to passerbys. I, I think that's important in getting this thing off the ground. And everybody's effort can be concentrated in one area rather than so spread out. I know that um, one of the things that we want to focus on as well is enhancement of and <clears throat> reinforcement of the assets of the town. Mm -hmm. um, we have an asset which is wildly underutilized in the form of the Mac molding plant, which doesn't have any business activity going on there and is there something that the town plan can or resulting zoning can do by way of reinvigorating the opportunities at that location we also talked about uh, the northeast wood products site at an earlier meeting but it looks like that will be redeveloped uh, which is a good thing um, and in the early discussions we talked a lot about the track of course the track has now had a vision expressed for it uh, at a meeting that we attended uh, not too long ago, September, no, August. Last yeah, meeting. August, yeah, last meeting. In August. Uh, and so whether there's going to be an additional solar uh, array there, whether there's going to be music presentations, whether um, there's going to be something else there, I think is something that we want. The town plan has to try to get its arms around so that it will work for the community, whatever it is. Right, right. And so I think that's another reason why it's updating the town plan is in, in this time of turmoil and seeming lack of direction would be a good thing. Um, I, I think it's important to um, separate what potentially is a good for the town good for, and there, thereby uh, dictated in the town plan good for business and and also supports the way of life that most people want to have here and they shouldn't be conflicting elements in other words a commercial aspect should coordinate with 
why most people want to live here in in the peaceful, beautiful valley, that type of thing. So it, it certainly doesn't deter commerce. I think I think making us more visible will increase the likelihood that commerce will come here. Maybe somebody will take over the Mac molding plant, but other things need to be in order before an enterprise moves in there and we can make it marketable to them in some way. The town itself needs to be marketable. At the same time, the quality of life is really important. So whether if there's a music venue, you know, if, uh, depending upon you know, how often that is and so on, and the fact that it's in a neighborhood, will that be attractive to people? Will that support the quality of life that people come here to enjoy it? Or, or whatever it is, whatever the enterprise is. True, uh, true to your word, you're here. I am. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm so glad I don't live in a city. <laughs> You can introduce. Just making the point. You, you've heard us out here. This is Rosemary Peltier, who has just joined us, uh, another member of the Planning Commission. Uh, I would have. I asked everybody else to identify themselves. But oh, okay. Having just driven here from Boston, I wasn't sure you could. Right, I can. <laughs> I always. But don't that. ask me to think too much more. <laughs> when I come back from Boston, I say, "How do people do that?" Every I know. Day? Mm. I don't. I do not understand. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a drive. Yeah. Well, we did spend a lot of time focusing on our strengths. Mm -hmm. Three villages. Number one, who's connected to the wastewater treatment plant. Number two, the accessibility of water and uh, what our strengths are and, and which village probably could we work on to uh, move forward real quickly. And uh, that's something we've talked about for years. And we do have, thanks to the past Selectman's efforts about bringing the wastewater treatment plant to town, uh, we really haven't fully utilized. We haven't got it going. But it's there, the capacity is there to do more. And uh, that's all part of this, is to, we hope somebody comes on board with us. I agree. I, one of the things that each one of us mentioned in our aspirations for the town was that there would be uh, some means of affording more affordable housing for people uh, in a good housing setup for as many people as possible. Um, not competing with the trailer park, but supplementing them with good affordable housing with sewer, with water, and uh, um, a rate structure or a rent that is affordable. Uh, and I know we have a housing, affordable housing committee, and uh, we probably will during the master planning process, want to reach out to them as well. Um, other things that we want to mention, uh, we, we could probably get a page out of what we just talked about, but uh, um, is there anything else that comes to mind, either from the materials I handed out to refresh your recollection? What I did was I printed up for everybody our goals and aspirations that we did. Also, oh, right. also okay. a meeting that we had with Jim Sullivan. Can I have one? Yes, you may. Thanks. Sure. A meeting we had back in 2012 with Jim Sullivan, which talked about uh, uh, a number of suggestions that he had about things that we should be considering for the master plan. And then I also handed out the statute that has the 13 required elements of a master plan. Uh, not that we're going to deal with this tonight, but uh, we all ought to keep it under our pillow so we know where we're going. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> now, is uh, th those 13 uh, different elements, was that something that we were talking about BCRC dealing with and helping us with to to just make sure that that is covered? Did we mention that, or is that no? Just... I think I think we're going to work with Landworks on that. Yes. Okay. Okay. BCRC has to has to approve after the select board approves. Mm -hmm. The master plan BCRC has to as well, but um, yeah. go ahead. One of, one of the things that uh, a lot of towns, I was reading a bunch of the other town plans that are now just coming up for resolutions through the thing, is they seem to be working much more with their neighboring towns. Uh, the one that's uh, Shaftesbury talks a lot about how North Bennington works with them because of the schools and other mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, Peru, the rest. And I think when we're working on this, we need to take a look and see how our town fits in with the big picture. You know, Bennington is really part of our job market today because of our industry and stuff has really gone from the community. 
And so when you do part of the plan, if you look at theirs, they talk about where the workforce goes and so forth. Uh, come on, some of us drive to Troy every day. Some mm -hmm. drives to Pittsfield. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so we need to sort of look at that and see what that really means because part of the, th the other thing in your plan is transportation. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us commute today. So we got to sort of look at what that all means uh, for our population size because those towns I spoke of actually have small industries of some sort, whether it's Mac molding or, or something. They do have a, a, I guess what I would call a base industry or a base hiring thing. And we really don't have that unless you want to, I don't even know if the farm is the major employer now or not. It's probably, no. yeah, because it used to be the, the Stromwires was the largest employer in town. But now I don't know who, mm -hmm. school, I uh, guess the, the only one probably, probably is. is. And maybe yeah. the town. And the second one. Town could probably mm -hmm. be the second one. Yeah. yeah. So, so food so, might be one, but that's seasonal. Yeah. 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 But that, think, those things I are think looking. Williams College is a big employer. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> but, 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 but again, but I'm, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's a close proximity to the thing. Uh, you know, I, I was interested in looking at uh, how many people from Shaftesbury drove to Troy every day. Mm. Yeah, Shaftesbury yeah. was fine. But down here in, in my part of town, so in the part of town, it's Williams. You, you, you know, you, you got to look at how many people are going out of state from our small communities mm -hmm. to work. And it's, it is an interesting makeup of where we are today compared to the days when it was the tannery and general cable and northeast lumber and the track. Mm -hmm. You know, those 1,500 to 1,800 people were all employed here. Mm -hmm. And they made up our rescue squads, our fire departments, and everything else. We, those are all the impacts. If we don't have a base industry, we're losing them already. And if we don't think of that somehow. Indeed, there was a very good article in the Sunday Times a couple of weeks ago about how, what, how volunteer fire departments are really hurting because mm -hmm. everybody's employed out of town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't get and, them. And even if they want to join, they can't get to the training and they can't mm -hmm. participate mm -hmm. as they used to. Anyway, that's a diversion, mm -hmm. but it is a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and that's young employment. <coughs> yeah. And, you know, mm -hmm. one of the things I saw on here was how do we get young people to live in town and stay in town? Mm -hmm. Part of that is finding employment because their their pockets are not like the the people who are more fluent and been around and worked for a while. Their travel is short usually, Williamstown or somewhere, and, and their income is limited. So if they can find more close by, they're not burning up with gas that's going to be in another ten years. Mm -hmm. You sit down and do the math. You say, I'm getting a job here for X many dollars. And then you start to figure out the uh, cost of transportation, basically. But, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a little paper out, monthly paper out from New York, The Observer. Oh, it's yeah. covered two areas. Oh, two months ago, it was Saratoga Springs. And this month, it's the uh, Hoosier Falls area. Hoosier Falls. And a couple little things just fit in the right place. It yes. started the ball going. Yeah. We're, we're there. We're getting close. It's just, it's going to happen. One thing we have going for us is that even for young people, we do have affordability. We've got to make it a little more attractive. We've got to make it a little sexier for a lot of reasons. People would live here, and we can't say we we're all, all of a sudden going to have the jobs for them, but they might want to live here and drive to Troy because it's a nice place to live for a number of reasons. And, and that would be a great start. And then businesses may come on the back side of that. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. it, it doesn't happen directly. Right. There's a little, you know, area here that got picked up, the Old Kirk School. Man bought that, fixed it up nicely, made three apartments, and all three of them are rented. Mm -hmm. And they're not, you know, they're pricey. Some people from California, some people that work at uh, Manchester at the uh, uh, fishing <coughs> place, uh, you know. Or Orvis. 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 Mm -hmm. Orvis. And uh, I think they have the people in the medical field. So, mm -hmm. farm wasn't really dead yet. I mean, we have mm -hmm. location, location. Mm -hmm. If you want to get close to Williamstown, as they say, how much money is being spent over there every year? The new library, the new football field, the, the clock is just spent a small fortune, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's going to keep going. Right. It's the new dorm. I understand's in the lakes and uh, new town office. They're going to take down the Williams Inn. Well, that's in the talk. Yeah. Well, I think it's going to. happen. Only, oh, it's going to happen. Oh yeah, Kyle's gone. And, uh, anyway, that, but it's it's stone straw. I, I, I just don't appreciate that uh, people don't appreciate our post office. It, it's so getting to be a handy place for Williamstown mm -hmm. because of their location. But I talked to another fellow that came up today, and he said, I can mail a letter. Uh, he's from down in Mass, down on Lanesboro. And Parliament, it gets there in two days. Mm -hmm. 
it's a longer time if I mail it down there for mm -hmm. some reason. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Everything goes to White River. Yeah, okay. I don't know where this goes to Springfield. Uh -huh. Everything probably. goes to Springfield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So little things yeah. like that, but they do they do paint a mm -hmm. picture here that it's not as glum as <coughs> you think right. it is. So and there's not a waiting line <laughs> at our post office. Let's, let's, tick, let's, tick off, uh, let's tick off our thoughts on what it is that we can express in this grant application as reasons why Pownell's town plan ought to be updated. Uh, we've talked about uh, revitalization. The town plan will help us to revitalize, we hope, town centers is one. Mm -hmm. uh, an updated town plan may propose a better vision for attracting industry to one location or another, the ones that we've thought of, Mac Molding being the one that's properly zoned at the moment, maybe as a result of the town plan, we will come up with another area that should be rezoned to attract industry. But certainly the building mm -hmm. that's there at Mac Molding could be utilized. Makes, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, that's, right. that's mm -hmm. infrastructure already there. Mm -hmm. right. um, making the town more marketable by introducing and aligning ourselves with some concept of being a gateway to Vermont, gateway mm -hmm. to the state. And perhaps being important to the state that we are located where we are, so for marketability and for the Vermont brand mm -hmm. quote, which is really in force in a lot of places throughout the state, mm -hmm. that we're the beginning of it. And we, we should represent that for the state. And our thoughts mm -hmm. were, our thoughts, thoughts were at a time, at one time, that we should have a Vermont products center here. Yeah, maybe. Absolutely. I think, I think we can, I, I know mm -hmm. we can. I, this is another thing. It's you know the tri-state. You 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 mm -hmm. gateways nice, but we we have a lot of people. I have kids that work down in Warren Beaker. They come from Windsor Falls. Mm -hmm. uh, they come through a lot of a lot of New York. Three forty six is a major sure. corridor, mm -hmm. and uh, this this the traffic between the road. The road's been a pain in the neck to getting repaved, but do you see the lines of traffic right. quickly you add up as you're sitting in line waiting? I mean, 50, 60, I went to Bennington yesterday, 60 cars were behind me Yeah. in a short time. I'm saying, mm -hmm. wait a second, where the heck are all these people mm -hmm. going? Solar what said is it, that 7, the, is, is Solar said 7,000 7, 7, vehicles, vehicle yeah. trips a day. Yeah. And that's, Which is below what they can make road It's handle. below capacity, oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I think a town, an updated town plan will help us to uh, recognize and tout and advertise uh, our, our strengths mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. so that's another reason yeah. Go I, ahead. you know I think and I think we've talked about it at this table but I, I and it may have been said earlier this evening but the whole thing about um, you know the properties along the riverfront and um, you know the flood control that those kinds of things are need to be enhanced in the plan Certainly, as a result of the zoning that might come out of the plan, mm -hmm. uh, the plan has a section on historic resources. So one of the things that I know we're going to say mm -hmm. is that we have to do things to protect, preserve, and mm -hmm. enhance historic resources. Mm -hmm. I, for one, suggested that as part of the town plan, we ought to be thinking about uh, whether or not we're going to foster ridgeline development of one kind or another. Mm -hmm. Are there going to be wind generation turbines there or mm -hmm. are there not? Mm -hmm. um, and the town plan ought to think about whether those ridges are resources that we want to protect and preserve or develop. Uh, and we ought to get input from the community. But I don't know that they specifically are a reason for advancing the town plan. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I think an another one, I mean, when we were doing the survey, one of the, the sort of glaring needs was in terms of recreation. Um, you know, and I think that's one thing that, you know, we, we have some properties that the town owns that may facilitate some, you know, but that, that whole piece is another. And young people say it's a social desert. Is mm -hmm. it true that yeah. the spot yeah. at the former cannery has a, could have a boat launch downstream from the dam? Oh yeah. oh yeah, there's there's yeah. there's a place there for canoes now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And is there a portage to get around the dam? <laughs> it's the upper part that they're built, trying to build and find a spot for it. But below, once you get around the dam, they've actually built a where you walk down with your canoe and go. Who's they? Who's the Water Shed Association? Okay. 
Hoorah. Hoorah. There, there is a pound of oil association also. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've got it. We're incorporated. The Pound Hoosick River Water Association. We have you know, You're the one who builds those boats out of cardboard boxes. Well, that, that, was, that was just a, a thing. <laughs> Milk cartons. We did, but uh, but we've done other fine. things. We have a big river cleanup, and uh, the park was nice down there until some people used it badly. But uh, Clayton Park was donated, a piece of land, three acres. But there's things you could put in. You could, you could reshuffle the cards and bring that back out. Okay. Okay. So it's in place. There's a lot of things mm -hmm. in place. We, we haven't dusted them off yet. Mm -hmm. We talked about the uh, traffic and how many people go up back and forth up the road and how many people are waiting in line during all the repaving. And, and, one, and one opportunity I think we're missing, is, and I mentioned this before, is our visibility, which is part of our marketability. And especially at this time of year, when you drive down 7 between Barber Pond and, 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 and Jimmy's Place, mm -hmm. and the whole valley is there, and you cannot I see, see it. it. Yes. The trees are there. There's a turnoff there. But no, you know, if you don't know, you don't know, and you're mm -hmm. not going to find out. It would be great to open uh, As much as I don't like taking down trees for the hell mm -hmm. of it, it would be great to open mm -hmm. up that valley because it's a beauty, mm -hmm. and it's being wasted. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. And it could say to people, wow, this is a place. Mm -hmm. I want to explore. Either I mm -hmm. want to come back here with my bike, mm -hmm. or I want to come back here and look for a uh, real estate broker. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. place is beautiful. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. And it's I think we're missing opportunities mm -hmm. like that, which in a heartbeat. I don't, I don't think we can solve this tonight in the survey. We can. It's certainly okay. not going to be. But this is a matter of curiosity. I want to know. Do you know who owns <coughs> the land on that I side don't. hill? I don't. Burrington and uh, Lonsbury owns the old trolley track. Those are the two people that own with the trees. The only, the only thing that makes it work now is because of the wires going over the bank and, and the uh, wire and the electric people have somebody come in and cut them. So there's a some small, areas. There is, a, there there is one little car. Because yeah. of the wire. But yeah. I mean, I'm sure they'd love it. Well, well you were dumping there, and that's why they put the big That's up. why they put their... All right, and I'm not even mm -hmm. suggesting there's access to the land. I'm suggesting right. maybe we just take the trees down so we could see the valley. Mm -hmm. Well, you... Jimmy can tell you. It used to be all That's pasture. Good. Those okay. trees weren't there when we were there. No, I, I, I can tell you the Burringtons have relocated their uh, fences so as to put cows on that side and going up that hill again. That's good. That's a good yes. point. Yeah. That's a good sign. Because well, it was getting overgrown. Just, no kidding. But not running the amount of cows that there were, though. That's, oh, not even no, close. No, not even close. Not but even I mean, close. Okay, does anybody else have any other suggestions? Because if not, I'm going to take the notes that we've made from tonight and um, come up with a draft of a statement of why it's in the town's vital interest to update the town plan, which I will submit to you in a Word document to be attached. And I will try to distill all of these ideas and not be overly verbose. You say no more than one page. One page would be nice. Mm -hmm. Double spaced. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't <laughs> need double spaced. One page. And try not to be five or. Do at least ten so I can read it. Ten points. <laughs> <laughs> so can you get this, your notes typed up and get them to everybody in forms of minutes or something so that we can use that as a jumping off spot for this? I can't do it tomorrow, but I can work on it Thursday. I'm going to Montpelier tomorrow with notes. Okay. Are okay. <laughs> your... Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, one of the things that is, is and if you know where I've been pushing some of my stuff and t trying to mm -hmm. get things done is our deadline comes up on was it September 30th mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to get this in so anything you, you can get and what I'm doing is I have given uh, right access to Adley, uh, Natalie Natalie mm -hmm. Natalie and to me and, and I and I want to get to you suggest that you give it to Rosemary okay I, it's yeah. Rose Pell she oh. just needs a semi that, yeah. her address, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll okay, tell my, you. Uh, okay. I'll, leave, I'll well, give you, you my contact emails to her, so she's, she's yeah. on there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, in order for me to go in and give access, okay. or what I do is I do part of it, then okay. the state has to finish it yeah. and give the okay. rest. So, but I need some information, which I'll ask you for there versus here. Okay. Because it's some of it's yeah. okay. where you live and phones yeah. and all sure. kinds of other stuff. Now, is this, to some degree, this application process and how they, once the application is in, how they look at it, is it somewhat competitive? Oh, oh yeah. So it's very competitive. So then, a, as we talked about before, there are many towns who are going to be saying the same things that mm -hmm. they need as us. So in some ways, we need to differentiate. We need to include those, 
but why mm -hmm. our needs mm -hmm. are in fact more important to the state perhaps, mm -hmm. not just to us. Right. And right. I think that has a great deal to do with our location in the state. I think and it does. Yeah. And the Hoosick River running through it. Mm -hmm. And all of that. Proximity to the tri-state, the tri-state notion. Mm -hmm. and, and the continuation kind of, of the Berkshires. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. right it up it's not a dirty way. word, Berkshires. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a good word. I did one of those. It's a good word. So you got money for the sewer. Come on. Are you kidding me? Just send me what you got. Yeah. I'll tell you. Worst, worst could happen, to this, I'll send you back something with a note on it. Okay. All right. Remember, you're selling the town is what you're doing here for winding the grant. That's really mm -hmm. what you're looking at. You're not, you're not trying to write your town plan. You're not pushing major, a major uh, change upon the state. What you're mm -hmm. looking for is how you're going to meet the state regulations and how you're going to do it and why you need to do mm -hmm. it. We keep okay. saying why. Why do people want to come here? All right, just ask a question. Why does the coach of the San Antonio Spurs buy a piece of land in Pondle for seven hundred something thousand dollars? It sits there. Still, the, the, you know, come on. He's not a stupid man. Uh, he's not afraid to live here, and a lot of good people aren't afraid to live here. Mm -hmm. They may have lived here a long time. Yep. Uh, we just need to just get a little more positive. Yeah. And I, and I think in, in this in this process, mm -hmm. when you're asking somebody or an organization for something, it's, I think it's always good to talk about what you're do, going going to do for them, why it's mm -hmm. important to them, mm -hmm. not just for you. Right. Yes, we need X, Y, and Z, but yeah. this in turn could be good for you because. Mm -hmm. And that's right. so. Give me the because, so I can. The because is, is visibility. Right. It's promoting the brand from the get go. Now, you don't have to drive halfway up through the, into the state to get Vermont. You get Vermont right now. You don't get depression, you don't get downtrodden now. You get a glorified gateway to this beautiful valley. You open up the valley a little bit, you have some... The beauty's there, and it shouldn't be hidden. And that's what you have. You have the potential to market the state at the doorstep. It's got a hook on it, Vermont mm -hmm. now. Yeah. yeah. Market the state at the doorstep. <laughs> Listen to this phrase maker. I'm just talking. The man's <laughs> been thinking for a talk. long time. <laughs> it's what you do well. <laughs> okay. All right, we have a plan. You can work on it Thursday. I can work on it Thursday. Um, any other suggestions? Okay, hearing none. Uh, what other business do we have to come before the board? Yes, there's any public. I just want I just wanted to uh, mm -hmm. mention one thing. I think when you distilled Jim's notes from that meeting, of the 13, I'm just going to quote this quick paragraph. Of the 13 or so elements required by 24 VSA, the most important is the land use plan, and the next most important is probably the economic development plan, which becomes effective July 1, uh, 2012. Yep. I just wanted to point that out as mm -hmm. two important points. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That was from a meeting of May 2012, as I recall. Uh, I mm -hmm. think so, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's when we were working on before we renewed the existing plan so we get time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, there is an opportunity for public comment, but I don't see any of the members of the public here except our cameraman. Mm -hmm. Welcome to comment if he wishes. And hearing none, I would uh, consider a motion to adjourn. So second. And there's a second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay.